Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Dark Souls 3. We're back here because we want to go in and, and turn some stuff in, get some answers to some questions, and maybe, just maybe, spend some souls. Ah, well, how I have an umbral ash to give you. Grave Warden's ash. Gracious. Yes, I only hope so. <laughs> what do you got? Three more embers. Useful. Needed those against the demon. That was awful. Undead Legion set. Here okay. you go. Nice. Volnir's crown. Very cool. Let's see. These undead warriors vowed to partake of wolf blood. They acted in the dark, seeking out any sign of the abyss, fighting a constant war with its abomination. Pointed steel helm was a distinct symbol of the Legion, shirked as a sinister omen by the masses. Understandable. Huh. That's really freaking cool. What about High, High Lord Volnir, the Karthus Conqueror? Once upon a time, such things were bequeathed judiciously to each of the rightful lords until Volnir brought them to their knees and ground their crowns to dust. And the crowns became one, and Volnir, the one high lord. Nice. Ashen one. It okay, thanks. Bye. Do I have any embers to give you? Ah, tis good, wasn't he? Or coals, whatever. Seems not. Ma. What about... Nope, just don't have enough. Oh, I need eight twinkling... All right, all right. I need eight twinkling titanite. I only have one. I probably should switch away from this sword soon and get something that's actually, like, way freaking more powerful. Again, the claymore I can upgrade several times over. And then I can infuse it and just keep going from there. Uh, I love the frostbite. 55 is freaking awesome. Uh, but I probably should start switching away. Before we do that. Pretty be careful. Hello. Oh, a hand in one. Uh, you don't have anything I care about. You can keep us. Okay, bye. And you, I don't think I had anything to buy from. Speak on the Nothing I care about. You have three rings of sacrifice, which is interesting. Our Lord and Lord. Knowest thou of a maid named Anri? I do. She's pretty cool. She is hollow. And will join thee in wedlock. A what? fellow of mine guides her at this moment. When the time is ripe, thou mayst make thy salutations. For what Lord taketh no spouse? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Why not you? I'd like a follow-up question. Why not you? Why her? Like, I got nothing against her. She's pretty cool. But what? <laughs> Our Lord and Lord knows thou she is hard. Okay, bye. <laughs> huh. Was not expecting that. Gonna be honest. That one threw me for a bit of a loop. Oh, good, you're still alive. Have, <laughs> Have a tome. I'm afraid I cannot accept this. Yes, you can. This pyromancy tome is dark and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. I cannot comprehend this myself, let alone teach it to you. It is a spell forbidden in the great swamp. And nearly everywhere else, too. Only one terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this. Huh. Wonder if I can make him sad. Ah, you found a tome in the catacombs. This spell is akin to chaos. It may even serve as a link to Isolith. Home of pyromancies. Ah, you found this. It may eat. Okay. Huh. 
Karthus Beacon? Oh, damage increases with consecutive attacks. Karthus' aggression has been linked likened to an uncontrollable fire, and since ancient times, this beacon has been used as a signal for war. Huh. Do not be gone for long. I will be, don't worry. Back again, I perfect timing too. You don't have anything else that I care about. I don't I have anything don't mean to see overbearing. I don't have anything you care about. You don't have anything I care about. Wait, where'd she go? Where is my firekeeper? Or firekeeper to be? Where did she go? For a second there, I thought that was someone that was here to kill me. I was like, oh crap. No, no, no. No, no, no. Where is my firekeeper? Can I? Oh, hey, what's up? Uh -huh. Thou so. I actually have a lot of Twisted Souls. Hold up. Crystal Sage, Digging the Deep, Stray Demon, High Lord Volnir, a black flame that runs along the ground, the Black Serpent. Releases undulating black flames that trace the ground. Be it sorcery or pyromancy, all techniques that infringe on humanity lead to the same place. That is to say, they all seek a will of their own. Volnir's Holy Sword. A holy sword eroded by the abyss. When Volnir fell to the abyss, he was gripped by a fear of true darkness. He pleaded the gods for the first time. His holy sword, together with three armlets, stripped from the corpses of clerics, gave him some semblance of comfort. Interesting. Wolf Knight's great sword. Has great strength scaling, actually. Did we ever look at these? Wolf Knight was the first Abyss Watcher, and his sword is more punishing against creations of the Abyss. Interesting. Great Sword of the Night, tainted by the Dark of the Abyss, Master of Wolf Blood, Farron. Great Sword of the Abyss Watchers, which is atypically paired with an unusual dagger. The dagger is utilized as a wedge in the left hand, while the Great Sword is held in the right. A unique technique that was synonymous with the Undead Legion confounds foes in manner of wolves hunting prey. Was it Soul of a Demon, or was it... Ah, uh, it was Soul of a Demon. Demon's Fist, a demonic fist that burns with fire essence. Its ruler can release this power through use of its skill when two-handed fists are equipped to each hand. And then regular Soul of a Demon. It's a great axe. The demons born of chaos harbor fire, yet they're twisted malformed, such they were never meant to be. I feel like we already had Soul of a Demon. I don't know. Either way, I don't know that any of these swords I particularly care about. I mean, they're cool, but as far as, like, usability is concerned... I don't know that they matter that much. That actually requires a lot of dexterity, interestingly enough. Ah, most illustrious Lord Seeker. Or should I say, Lord Slayer? Fine kindling for the thrones, is it not? Each soul truly worthy of lordship. And all slain by thy hand to bind them to their thrones, even in death. Oh, I have no qualms. For as we are to our thrones, thou art to thy duty. In fact, methinks thou hast helped these poor lords along their rightful path. Ah, most illustrious lord Seeker. Okay, I'm still gonna go out and see if I can find her. So far, no luck. Can I put this in here? Yeah, Cinders of a Lord. Here we go. The Abyss, wa Abyss Watchers have been delivered. Hiya. Gaining admission to the Legion. Okay, bye. Don't care about your little Legion story. I wonder, did she go 
to the Firekeeper's Tower. Which is, of course, this. How she would find her way here safely, I, I'm not sure. Perhaps not. But she is gone, and that bothers me. I'm afraid we'll find her body somewhere. Yeah. And there's just a bell up here. I mean, double check, but... The fact that she is missing is a problem. Does mean that other guy will come after us, too. Because, you know, missing and all. Huh. For a second there, those, uh, all those arches down there looked like one giant serpent. With the head where my sword is now. The tip of my sword. Pointing at the head. They're just arches. I just thought it was interesting. Optical illusion. Well. She is nowhere to be found. So. I'm just going to have to assume that she probably died. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is going to kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Who are you? Have no fear. There's beauty in death. Besides, you're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream, right? <laughs> Freaking patches, man, every time. Oh, no matter. I'll look after things. By stripping every last trinket off your corpse, you're gonna make some lucky customer very happy. <laughs> you probably <laughs> killed her, didn't you? You just freaking show up out of nowhere. You kill this really awesome person, and now you're trying to kill me too, huh? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. Isn't there a safer way down? Yeah. Wait, don't I have a ring that prevents fall damage? Why am I even doing this the risky way? Where is it? No, it probably is a spell. Alright. That's fine. <sighs> patches, 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 or whatever your name is. I'm just going to keep calling you Patches until we find out who you are. Patches, you are outside what you are capable of, sir. So far outside it. I don't want to go this way. I want to go this way. All right. Well, I think we found the answer to what happened to her. Well, I can't say I'm exactly pleased at the answer. We do have one. Yeah, 
where'd he go? Hold up. Is this just going to happen again if I do this? I guess it's an easy way to check, right? Nope. All right. You're a dead man, Patches. I mean, you're a hollow, so you're just gonna keep coming back to life. I can kill you forever. And you just keep coming back to life, cause, you know, undead and all. But you're a dead man. You, Mr. Sir. Ah, oh, you're alive. Now, hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. I've come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it, though. Not one bit. Y you get these urges running the business and all, and, and I, oh, I, I hate myself for it. I do. You know what I mean. Terrible. But I can see you'll forgive me. You're alive, after all. And that's what counts, right? I don't like you. Oh, for heaven's sake, no need to jest with a face like that. You're still alive, and I'm here groveling in the dirt, so to speak. Oh, I know. Here, a token of my sincerity. Right and proper, huh? We're just a couple of outcasts. Let's make the best of it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually groveling. What do you even have? Onion Bros set? Where did you get that? Specifically, two Chotels. Not, not infinite, not one, two. With the Katarina set. Often ridiculed for its onion-like shape, infuriating the country's proud knights with a master, masters, masterfully forged curved design makes it... It's effective at deflecting... Bl Come on, words... It has good defense. <laughs> and then the black leather set, which is what Patches himself uses, and the poison arrows, which are actually probably really handy. Ah, I see you've met Rayrath. The slinking rodent. But he did me a good turn back in Lockwick Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. He's still standing. <laughs> ah, that's the stoutest well. <laughs> Can't find anything you like. Well, you could try looking a little harder. Or I could kill you. I wonder if there's anything on the other side. Just check real quick. This way. Nope. You never know. There might end up being something later. Uh I wonder if Grey Rat has anything to say about him. I don't even know that. Did I even check what his name was? I don't even know if I know what his name is. Man. Grey Rat, can you give me some info? Oh, hey, Landon. You can keep the ring. Yeah, please have anything useful to say, sir. <sighs> the case of the missing. Fire. Wow, words. Literally, case of the missing words is what this is. This is a case of the missing words. 
What if we reset the area? Burn an undead bone shard, because we need to. Okay. Is he still standing up there? And is the guy... That girl's keeper. I wonder if he's anywhere to be found. I bet you're... St yeah, you're still standing up here. I can see your spear. Aren't you glad we made good of things? Unbreakable patches. Horse hoof ring. Boost kick effect. An old ring with the seal depicting a horse's hoof boosts, boosts kick effect. Unbreakable patches adore this ring and the feeling that it gave him when he kicked his marks into the depths of the treacherous traps, but suffered no shortage of ridicule from his associates for relying so heavily on a tired old trick. But who is the sorrier? The horse who knows only to kick or the fool who approaches the old beast without thought? Well, can't find anything else. We will come back at some point to kill him, though not now. His damage is already done. I don't think he can do too much more, at least not to us. So let's go ahead and make our claymore really amazing. Okay, and then can I infuse the claymore? I can. Make it crystal. No. Then it scales with intelligence. That's actually very interesting. Fire, no. I want it to still scale. Blessed, no. The poison claymore adds actually a lot of poison damage, interestingly enough. Heavy is all strength, or you can make it high in dex. You know, maybe I will keep what we have right now. None of these infusions seem to be that impressive, and the upgrade itself, it does 257 damage, which is great, right? 257 is really solid. And we can get it up to like 260 plus, 270-ish. Like that's absolutely a thing we can do. What does our current weapon do? Two hundred four or fourteen? Two fourteen. So we can give another like sixty ish damage, but it slows us way down and it's a heavier weapon. A much heavier weapon. You know, I guess we're not gonna worry about it for now then. I thought we should upgrade, but I I was wrong. Sword we have is still pretty solid. Give me life. <laughs> I, I need a lot more life. All vigor. Alright. Wheel. I guess there's not a lot left to do here. Go back to the abandoned tomb. That's where everything seemed to be. And um, we spent an entire episode trying to find a, a firekeeper only to find Patches O'Houlihan. So guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. I will see you guys next time at the Smoldering Lake. This appears to be the next area, or maybe a side area. Irithyll's probably the next area. This appears to be an important side area. So we'll be here next time. We'll be doing this. And um, see you then. Thanks for watching. As always, DFTBA.